This isn't any old Mary Bridgman sweater. This is the custom made, knitted, official RCE Mary Bridgman sweater that is only available at realcivilengineer.com. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside just thinking about it. Well, and, and because it's a knitted sweater, so it does make you warm and it's quite fuzzy to touch. Anyway, go buy one, don't miss it. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Satisfactory. Now, as you know, I offer exclusive bonus videos to my Patreon and YouTube members, but I didn't want those that aren't supporters to miss out. So this video combines the first 10 episodes of the Satisfactory bonus series, so you can see what 30 hours of spaghetti conveyor belt madness looks like in a single mega edit. Feel free to thank Schmeichel in the comments below for editing this, by the way. And also, Patreon now offers a free membership, meaning you can stay updated with exactly what I'm posting over there. Check the link in my description. But for now, let's get into this. So where did we get to last time? Oh, yeah, the mangled spaghetti mess we were making. I remember this. I remember this space elevator. We can we can probably build that, but I can see it needs a lot of man. It needs a lot of well, a lot of everything. But anyhow, back to the hub. Let's set up our next our next milestone. Do we want to go for... I mean, that's pretty easy, to be honest. Yeah, let's just get it done. By the way, I've just... Oh, what the frig? What are you doing there? The giant whale thing is in the middle of my spaghetti. Oh, no, I'm on the back of this thing. I didn't mean to get on the back of it. <laughs> He's so bouncy. Boing. <laughs> Boy, How do I get down, actually? All right, if I land on the grass. Grass is soft, right? Ow. And we got enough to complete this milestone. And after a boost of the red button, then that guy launches off. And in two minutes, I get a load of good stuff. This part assembly, that gets the assembler. And that's what we're going to need to make the plates ourselves. Okay, so of these parts, I think we're making all of them except for the, the wire, which is called cable. Okay, so to make cable just takes wire to turn into cable. Got it. Look at the copper on here. I may as well just build. Yeah, I'm, do I'm doing this official. I'm not, I'm not ruining what I've got. I'm just adding. Never replace, always add. Splitter there. Smelter there-ish. I can convey about from this splitter into there. Tell this make copper ingots into a constructor. So that can go there. Tell this to make wire. So that the wire comes out of there into this one. Then this can make the cable. But look, cable is now being made. Oh man, look from up here. Looks pretty decent. So where should I shove the space elevator? It's absolutely massive. It's down there, okay? Yeah, I'm going there. So, oh, look at all the pieces flying in. They're actually the pieces. I can see, like, the wire spools and stuff. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so that's the uh, the elevator part of the space elevator. Oh, yeah, look, it's, like, hooked in. So now we're attached to space. Over to the hub. You can see we're trying to complete this. So we'll take the rods. We'll take some plates. Then we'll take 100 of these. Oh, no, I've just left. Can you see that? I've got I got 100. Oh, no. Ah, I fell off. Ah, there's 100 cables, like, stuck on the ladder. Ah, oh, I've got them. I've got them. I've, I've... <laughs> there we go. Oh, I don't have enough rods. I don't have enough rods. I think I need to build another one of them that makes iron rods. So constructor there, which means we can shove a splitter on these ingots. Using that rock to get up and over. Nice. Tell this to make iron rods. Make some new power poles. Connect everything together. And then we're making twice as many rods. Nice. <coughs> so then we have enough to press the big red button. So in the meantime, we've got to work on those reinforced... What are they called? Oh no, smart plating. Yeah, that's right. So one assembler. I'll tell you what, I might line it up next to this. Okay, so now another assembler next to that one. So reinforce iron plates. We got to get some iron plates and screws over to this. Oh man, there's so much stuff. <laughs> oh, this is such a mess. I love it. I should be able to take that literally straight in there. Nice. So that is the screws coming down, going into the assembler. So where can I find some rod? Oh, look, they're literally just there. Do they already go through a splitter? Oh, this is very convenient. Okay, we'll take rods out of there over this way. And then wang it in there like that. What the hell are you? I don't like you. Eat some of that. Oh. So grab some rotors. Build an assembler. Conveyor belt into the back of it. Tell it to make smart plating. And we got to send them to this gravity lift, remember? Or space elevator. Sorry. We've got to send it to this space elevator, remember? I'm sure Smike edited that properly, so it looked like I didn't make a mistake. Nice one, Schmeichel. Up to there. And if I build a storage container up there... And another one on top. 
<laughs> How can I build them from down here? Then the smart plates, which I've got to here, they can go. And we should be able to loop around. Yes, get it on there. And then come back. And we can shove them in there. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I want to try and get as far as I can, keeping like this sort of logic going. Like just spaghetti it in. It doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it makes it there. You can see in the top right for the logistics mark two as well. We need loads of reinforced plates. So we'll jump down out and we can shove a miner on there. We'll rotate round so the conveyor belt comes out this side. Oi, tree, you're in the way. Get back. Ready? Huh. See you later, mate. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh. Let's shove smelter there. Another one there next to it. We'll then convey about out of here into that. And out of this one into that one. And then, excuse me, mate. I'm trying to explain what I'm doing down here. No bad. You cannot screw without a rod. That is life advice. So we got to make rods first. And then we got to go into another constructor. So I guess I'll put that in front again. And then this constructor makes screws out of the rods. And oh, the power's gone out again. So I think that's working at 100% efficiency. I think that, that's what this is. 99%. Okay, so that one's sort of set up. That's perfect. Let me show you this arch. Like, look how good this arch is. Oh man, he's really close. He's really close. No! No! <sighs> okay, well that didn't quite go to plan. <laughs> I tried to trick him, but I think I got tricked. Hang on, there was there was a place where it was blue. There. Okay. So, <laughs> so staircase out. We're free. We are free. <laughs> See you later. I'd like to see you build a conveyor belt out of there, you knob. Okay, so over to the hub. We can shove everything in there. So rods, concrete, those. Boosh, big red button. Give it a press. Oh, thank you. Anyway, since I'm going to need a lot of power to do what I've been doing, I'm just going to I'm gonna deforest that. So let's just head back up to our rock. And Schmeichel, we can do a little comparison. What it looked like before and then what it looks like now. Mission deforestation completed. How dare you? How can I increase my rotors? Where are they? All right, they're made here. We're making four per minute. So we just need a hell of a lot more screws. So this is my new line of screws. So they should come into here. Yes, we are being constantly screwed. That's just what we wanted. Yeah, look, we're up to 40% efficiency. Decent. All right, so the good news is that we have enough smart plating to send up in here. So oh, I forgot to grab it. I forgot to grab it. Hang on. Yeah, it does get to give you guys a look at what I've been what I've been up to, though. So basically just expanded that area. You can see lots of conveyor belts filled with resource. That is what we're aiming for. And let's load these into there. We'll, we'll seal it up. So they are now in and presumably we can, we can send it. So that, that way was still there. <laughs> anyway, we now have phase two, which requires 500 of those smart plates as well as a load of other stuff. Right. Okay. We're going whale hunting. So, oh my goodness. What the it can stand upright. Has it got a turtle's head? Okay, we might be able to trap it now. Yes. Yes. We got him, boys. We got him. He can't escape. Or she. Whatever you are. Let's have a look. No, it's just it's just it's just it. Right. Oh yeah, we need rotors. I'll tell you what then. Now is probably a good time to climb to the top of our storage ladder and see how many rotors we have. We've got 20. Oh, which means we have enough. And then we have the big red button to press. So let's give it a boost. So that is jump pads unlocked. That guy is flying up. Decent. Shut up, you. Well, I want a jump pad in order to get me to the top of my storage easily. Trouble is, I can't put it down and see, like, where it ends up. Oh, that's, like, that's way short. Look at the whale in the background being electrocuted. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Okay, but now it's in. What do we do? There's steps up this way. So if I... Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're going up. I'll tell you what. That... Will that save time, actually? <laughs> what if I, like, jump on it? Do I always land in the same place? No. Oh, it doesn't even work that time. All right, come on, come on. Oh, now I overshot it. Sod it. I'll just climb up. It's easier. So we've got tier threes. Oh, yeah. Coal power. Maybe we should work on coal power today. So in the top right, we need a load of rotors, a load of plates, a load of stuff. We're making rotors at 90% efficiency now, though. So that's one thing. Hat on the back, Matt. So let's go see how many rotors we've made. 20. Not quite there. Oh, no, I do. Because look, I've already got 36. Okay, we've got 50 rotors. Lovely. So we'll drop down, try not to break our legs. I'll tell you what, that's what I need to install. I need to install a jelly pad down here. I will do that once I've gone over to the hub so that we get the big red button, which we can boosh. And then coal power is now unlocked the jelly pad. So, oh my god, it's huge. Why is it so big? <laughs> okay, so yeah, I want it there, I think. 
So, hang on. That does look very soft to land on. Are we sure this works? <laughs> oh, it needs to be powered. Oh, blooming out. Okay. Oh, there is a, there's a pole there. Ow. I'm in green stuff. Help me. And then we'll be able to give this a shot. So, yeah, it looks like I can fall down. And... Oh, nice. I landed absolutely perfectly. So, we can swim to the edge and then we're good. <coughs> Okay, so next up, we can scan now for coal. So if we do that, where is the nearest coal? All over that way. 250 meters. So, oh, it's not that far at all, actually. That's quite convenient. Where? Is, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's over there. How do I get over there? Oh, I think I know. I think I know. I'm going to have to build a bridge. We have to build a bridge. Okay, so I just fell to my doom. Have I? Oh, don't say I've lost all those resources. Oh, I've lost everything I had. Flashback. End of flashback. Anyway, after a few technical difficulties, I think we're pretty much there. So, you know what that means? We need a bridge review. The blockiest arch bridge you've ever seen. Which some idiot put that in there, which I think was just temporary scaffolding and can be deleted. But it allows a huge span over a tiny gorge that I wouldn't recommend you fall down. Made out of iron plating walls and foundations. And complete with safety barriers because we know that this is a very high bridge. Hang on, I'll do that for me over this angle. It looks better over it. I give this bridge a very reasonable 6.5 out of 10. Bridge review. You're right up there, mate. You don't want to go to space anymore, do you? Have you changed your mind? Can you get down? Or are you stuck? All right, here we go. Yes, we've saved him. We saved his life. He's no longer trapped. Go live your life. I can tell how happy you are now. All right, bye, mate. Anyway, here is the coal. So let's build a miner. Oh, lovely. So we'll shove that there. So let's have a look at the coal generator. So we can nearly build that. Oh, okay. So we need water. How do we get water? Oh, yeah, the water extractor. So... Um, Hang on. <laughs> He's back. Oh, man. You need a name. How about Christofferson? Do you like... Was that a nod? I think he nodded. I think he nodded. Uh, question. Is there a map? If I press... A oh, we do have a map. Oh. Oh. Is that water? Oh, I was going the right direct. Look at that. That is an engineer's instinct. Oh, water. Oh, it's so wet and watery. Oh, I can change... I can change the height. I didn't know I could change the height. I want them in the air. Oh, there's me using those, like, conveyor stackers. What a knob I am. All right, anyway, conveyors are here, which means we've got coal over here, finally. So, coal generator. Let's shove that there. Water extractor can sit on this. There we go. But for now, let's plug in this. So, conveyor in the back. So, that should accept coal. Yes, look, our capacity is now 355. So, this basically covers... All like the 10 different burners I have. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. I could get a tractor. I could get a tractor. No. No. Our zoo is now empty. There's an escapee. I reckon it was that Christofferson. I think he's he realized this is not the ethical company he thought it was. <laughs> They've been enslaving his kind. Oh, man. I can't believe I've lost that. All right, jump down. Oh, no. The jelly's gone. When the electricity goes off, the jelly's gone. My kneecaps, ow. Anyway, add the rotors, add the frames, add the rods. We get the big red button, give it a boosh. Right, and now we have a truck station and tractor. All right, then we can build our truck station down here. Anyway, how do I actually build the truck? Oh, that's just a separate item. Okay, we'll, we'll build that there. Then I can drive it. No, I can't drive it. Why can't I drive it? Oh, it's got a horn. It has a horn. Oh, why is this so confusing? Why can't I just drive it? <laughs> Oh, open workbench on the back. Ah, here we go. There's fuel out the back. Ah, so now... Ah, oh, now we can drive it. I did put my conveyors up in the air, so it should be a fairly easy drive. So if I shove that, like, there... Wang a new coal generator down. And I can just go from this joint into the back. Nice. So connect that to the grid. And then just hit the switch. Why didn't that work? I think the pump only works if it has power. Shove a biomass burner down, like, just there. Connect that to the pump. Fill this with some, like, petals. That will do. So that's making power now, which means that pump is running, which means hopefully I can turn on this. And then we have fuel. Nice. All right, let's drive back to the factory. Oh, no, I just ran over a bird. I just ran over the little bird thing. Yeah, right. We'll leave that back there, sliding down the hill. Despite the tread, the, the grip isn't great on that thing. So I can probably set up my next thing. Steel production. Uh, look at this place, man. We, <laughs> we have sure done a lot of building. Anyway, let's uh, 
Well, let's jump down and see where we... Wait, wait, where's my, where's my, where's my jelly? Where's my jelly? Ow! My knees! My health bar! Ow! What happened? Oh, I'm, what? I'm not making... How am I not making enough? Hang on, this is only 11% efficient. Oh, is that why? I just don't have enough. They only make 75 megawatts. Oh, that's fine. We can make some more. Shove another one there. And another one there. Sorry, Mr. Parrot. I am ruining your habitat with coal. Oh, consumption 427. Capacity 430. So that's... Wait, what was that? Did anyone see that? Wait, did you just kick my truck? I swear I just saw you fall down from the sky. Was that because of you? You knobhead. And hang on, there's still, there's still chimneys not... I'm having a right nightmare with this. <laughs> Why are there still chimneys not firing? Well, I've got to head back. So I reckon let's let's build a road. That will cheer me up. Because last time I got like stuck on trees. I fell off cliffs and stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm a highway engineer. I want to design a road, essentially. But this is my new road. Oh, fair play. We are picking up some speed. Look at this. It's a bit rickety. It looks smoother than it is. <laughs> All right, here's hoping this works. Another water extractor. Shove that in there. Right, so now we've got each of these pumps powering three different coal plants. Okay, the pumps. Are oh, I went off. <laughs> Help me. Help. Capacity is now 580 megawatts. Consumption, 407. And yeah, so last time I, I got a load of water, didn't I, from over there. Brought it over this way to fuel my coal. And look, all the chimneys are lit up. By the way, I'm calling this highway the M69 uh, for obvious reasons. Yeah, we we need like double the rotors because we've got the grids. Okay, so rotors is something I need to increase big time. So we got to try and increase the rod input into this. So splitter can go in there can then take a conveyor belt out oh i just went up a jump oh goodness yeah bring that down to there over here up to there so if we look along here yes we've got a constant stream of rods which can now be screwed and then out this side come the rotors like that one there we go i will be taking that thank you wait i said i'll be taking that wait thank you and oh no the power went down the power went down? That's not meant to happen. I thought I fixed it. Oh, this is a nightmare. Shove the rotors in. Big red button. And that means steel production is ready. And we are... Oh, look. There's purple over there. We are completely new to this. This is all exploring. Nobed. Then we shove minor mark one on top of there. Power it up. And then we take conveyors out of here. Right, right, I'm being chased by a... Ow. One of those. Quite annoying. Still out. I will get my conveyors in. So, one foundry there. Oh man, this is a big boy. It's a big boy. But steel ingots. How much ore does it use? 45 per minute. Well, I'll plug that in anyway. So, it's definitely going to get some iron ore. I just need three coal now. So, the coal is out this way. 400 meters. Oh, which isn't actually that far, I don't think. Have some of that. Have some of that, you knob. All right, that is what you get. Okay, so this is this is coal. And okay, this is good. This is actually good. So that will minus coal once I power it up. I'll just take power from down there up to there. Now we're yeah, making boy. coal. All right, then this one goes over the top of there and then into there. Isn't that a lovely sight through the tree? Don't you think, Christofferson's mate? Yeah? No? Okay, fair enough. He actually shook his head. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, with these two going in here, we finally have the steel ingots. Then into this one, we can make the steel pipes that we need. So that goes into that one. And this one can make the steel beams. Oh, we've got one coupon. Nice. <laughs> one. Should I print it? Hey, you got a coupon. I don't really want to spend it on anything in architecture. Although road barrier, that could actually be useful. <laughs> Consider I keep crashing. Power storage, I am very intrigued for. Oh no, what is that? A stator? 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 I don't know. I might go make this. So first off, let's just build five of these just so I can make my first battery. I do want to get my batteries stacked already. Okay, so now I can build a power storage. Oh, it's quite big. It's a big boy. I mean, honestly, I'm thinking up here for some reason. All right, so we just connect that to the grid like that. And then we we are charging. We have enough rotors. Yes, big red button. Give it a boosh. Boosh. Oh, minor mark two. That can extract 
double the resource. Ooh, what is that? Encased industrial beams. So that takes the eye beams that we've been making, combines them with steel. Oh, it's reinforced concrete. So now this is our Mark II miner. Ooh, it sounds, it sounds beasty. So we'll squeeze a splitter in there. We'll then grab a conveyor and we've got to head like over this way. Build our assembler there. Connect it all up. And then tell this to make encased industrial beams. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. I died. Oh no, I died. I died. Now, let me just come over here. We'll climb up this because I want to have a little look at my, at my progress. All right. So we are up. How are things? I mean, things are looking pretty active down there. <laughs> oh, this is actually going to be a mess by the time we get like near the end. Now, I feel like I need to I need to work on like a big project, maybe like an Uber bridge, like, perhaps from up there. I don't know. Could I build to like over that way? Is that like is that too far? Like the super, super, duper, mega Uber bridge. Oh, no, I died at the end of last. I just remember I was like, where's all my stuff? We died at the end of last episode. Okay, I got to go do that. We. Oh, this is actually really fun. Wee. Wee. So it's down, it's down there. So, oh my goodness, that's a long way down. I had no idea it was this dangerous around here, if I'm honest. Oh no, I've fallen. I've, I've, I think that's death. Balls. But look, there's my thing. All right, okay, we are down. We are down. Where's my, where's my stuff? There's my stuff. Let's slide down to it. Oh, there it is. Take all. <gasps> the strongest shape. Wait, what the? Oh, oh. Where's my, where's my weapon? How do I get my weapon out? One. No, that's a pole. That's not a weapon. That is hideous. Eat some of that, you know. Ah, there's two of them. Well, that's made this a bit more terrifying. I do actually hear them, like, everywhere. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I actually, I don't like this. <laughs> craft, 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 craft. And then we have five parachutes. Nice. So I won't necessarily fall to my doom if I remember how to open them. I say remember, I don't even know how. If I learn how to open them. Right, anyway, first things first, let's head in here. And oh yes, hyper tubes. So top right, we need 50 of the reinforced concrete. Jump, slide, all that stuff. Oh man, I'm like, I'm like parkouring. Parkour, parkour. Parkour! There's the concrete, there's the reinforcement. So it comes in here. Aha, comes out there, and that's <laughs> That up there is where our conveyor got to before I fell to my doom, I think. And then up to there. Right, now we're storing the reinforced concrete. Boosh. So now we have unlocked hyper tubes. And I think hyper tubes allow me to travel very, very fast, very, very long distances. So hyper tube entrance. If I shove that like there, I've just got to power that up. Oh, which means finding free power. Oh, there's one right there. If we go to like there-ish of one there then if i'm in my tractor i'll be nice and safe because this will act as a barrier stop me falling off and then that is where i add my entrance sweet so can i oh my goodness i just got sucked in oh it's quite it's actually quite slow i thought it might be a bit faster so i want to build my bridge i'm trying to i'm trying to build quickly like click 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 oh i've actually i got the hang of it i got the hang of it oh my god ah, what the hell ah what happened this thing picked me up. Help me. Help. Help. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Where are you taking me? Ugh, look at its face. Why is your face so... Ugh. <laughs> We're going to hit it. We're going to hit it. We're going to hit it. Ready? Huh. Oh, what a landing. Right. Cheers for the ride, mate. <laughs> So we're up here. I'm going to make my bridge. I'm going to make it twice as wide, I think. So we'll just run along here, clicking these down. We are making our bridge twice as wide. Okay, we've got to the end of where we got to last time. Remember trying to make it to that island. I'm very intrigued to see what's over here. And yeah, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You can really see how long my bridge is now. Yeah, so I'm wondering, do I want to build a bridge? I mean, there's not a lot to build a bridge pillar on. Is this? Yeah, there's not even there's not even land beneath this. All right, so am I in the middle of the bridge? To be fair, sort of. So maybe this is where I want my pillars and then I cable set. I mean, a suspension would work a lot better, not going to lie. Jump over the weird creepy parrot. We've got to complete our space elevator phase two. And that's what I've meant to be doing in the top right. Now, I have actually been making the, the smart plating stuff. But I also need whatever the hell the other two things are. Oh, that's really purpley pink. All right, grab some cable. Head back to some space. Hopefully, this is proper parkouring through it. 
Right, and then finally, we... Oh, yeah, here's all the recipes. Versatile framework. All right, so then I'm just going to take these over that way somewhere. So it will come up here, down that way, weave it around here. Right, and then this should have everything it needs to make the versatile framework. So then I can just take the versatile framework out of here and up to one of my new storage things. So I'll just do that quick. All right, I think that's in. And then we're good. Okay, so versatile framework being built. So look... <laughs> Look at this city. It's it's incredible. So we're over halfway on the smart plating. But that's been going like since the start. Oh, does that say how many I'm making? Oh, nice. I'm making two a minute. So I need like 200 more. So that's 400 minutes. That Oh, wow. That's a long time. That's quite a long time. <laughs> how do I make this thing? Oh, yeah. No, look. I do need a stator. Yeah, I thought I did. So stator and then the cable. Oh, my goodness. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. Let's grab another assembler shove that down there so we'll go find steel pipes over this direction man where where were they again <laughs> i'm so lost <laughs> i'm so lost conveyor belt gonna send it this direction we'll bring those down into there so that's the steel stuff so let's go find here we go we got wires we have wires so we'll bung a splitter there try and th <laughs> try and thread this through so just bring that under there, wang it in there. Okay, so now this is making staters, staters. The staters can go in that side. Splitter there then, and then conveyor belt. We could <laughs> try and thread it through this somehow. All right, so that goes into there. Lovely jublet. This makes automated wiring. All right, well, I guess there's a reason why we've unlocked the like tier two miners and stuff. I should probably start increasing my production of everything. Let's upgrade all of these first. So basically, demolish that then build a Mark II. Just fits in like that. Delete that conveyor. And oh my goodness, there's a there's a native. You're right there, mate. I should then go and improve the coal mine up here as well. But yeah, up here I can replace this with a Mark II. All right, sorted. Now that's making loads more coal. All right, shove another miner on there. Make sure it's powered. And I'll have to convey this one back. So basically, this has got to come through the trees as well. All right, okay. Bung a smelter there. Another one next to it. So I'll just set them all to iron ingots. We've then got ingots that will come out this side. So constructor makes steel beams by taking the steel ingots from here into there. So make another foundry there. Another one here. Take a conveyor out here. Wang it in there. Power it up. Tell it to make steel ingots. Then if I shove a merger there, then voila, we are making, I think, 60 a minute now. Which means we have loads of steel beams. Which means I can grab them and then send them to wherever they were going again. <laughs> it was somewhere over this way, I'm pretty sure. Shove that down there, into there. Whoa, okay, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. But yeah, for now, we've massively increased that. So I think it's probably time. I want to I wanna keep on working on my bridge. I mean, I think whilst I do that, it's probably time for a... My God. Go on, tell us what that secret life event was. Okay, so yeah, as we as we build this bridge, I've been building bridges metaphorically with organic matter. And this is probably the weirdest way anyone's ever announced this. Anyway, uh, I had a baby. I'm now a dad, which means dad jokes are 100% more official. Having having a little girl is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's really worthwhile. And honestly, Paddy has been so good. I've been so proud of little Paddy. Like, he just knows instantly, like, not to go pester the baby. And yeah, so shout out to Paddy. He's a good boy. Uh, and welcome, welcome to Maisie, my daughter. Schmeigas. I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do this, like, without falling to my doom. But basically, I just want, like, this pillar, but going all the way down. So building up is fine. How do I build down? So I guess we do that and perhaps shove one over there and then delete this one. And I can keep building that. This is literally like building a bridge, the complete reverse. <laughs> like building it from the top down makes zero sense. But then look, we have one of our bridge piers in place. And this other one, I may be able to build it like as I climb up. So if we do one, two, three, and that's where the pier goes. I can at least do all of these down here. 
So yeah, that is pretty good. Nice. I like the way this is going. I do need to work out where the other bridge piers go in though. But uh, I think for now, we'll, we will leave that there for today. Cheers for joining, guys. I'll catch you next time. Cheers, Michael. You've earned yourself at least 10 minutes outside next week.